The weather pattern across the United States is about to drastically change. As we head through the middle of September and enter into the official start of the autumn season, some very noticeable things are going to occur. Before we dive into these changes, let's first talk about what's happening this week. I talked about this a lot in my forecast yesterday, but here's a quick review. Right now, we have Hurricane Lee off the coast of the United States getting ready to impact parts of New England and Atlantic Canada. We are also seeing some very active weather from New Mexico and Arizona to Florida as a stationary front keeps the weather unsettled. Lastly, a cold front is draped across the central United States, bringing some normal rain showers and storms across the region as it slowly propagates east. All of this weather will slowly work its way out of the picture by September 20th. Once all this activity goes away, just take a look at how quiet the weather map looks on September 19th. Seemingly nothing looks to be going on except for some storms in Florida. But the weather isn't going to stay quiet for much longer. As we get into the September 20th to the 21st time frame, the next big storm is going to erupt across the central U.S. While it's way too early to know the exact magnitude, timing, and placement of the storm, we do know that something big is brewing as we start off the autumn season. According to the latest model guidance, this large storm system looks to be associated with a powerful cold front sweeping in from the northwest, causing a clash between cold and warm weather. Unfortunately, we all know that this clash of temperatures will mean the eruption of a severe weather outbreak. This is exactly why severe weather and even tornadoes increases during the autumn, because we start seeing these temperature clashes more often like we do in the spring. If we switch back over to this weather map, just look at how this storm develops. It's a classic autumn storm. Snow for the Rockies before materializing into a powerful cyclonic storm over the plains. This could produce severe storms across the plains into the Midwest and possibly beyond. As we go further into September, weather models do seem to be in agreement that this active train of storms will continue. Even after this first storm system forms next week, look at how many more disturbances looked across the country. While these exact storms will probably not happen, this model guidance is useful in helping us see the general weather pattern coming. The reason why we are seeing such a change in the types of storms will be because of the jet stream. As we head into autumn, the jet stream will start to ride further and further south, allowing for cold air to move down, therefore crashing into warmer air over the continental U.S., in turn allowing for the development of these massive storms. After taking a look at this information, here's my severe weather probability forecast for September 20th through the 30th. I'm thinking that the areas in red will have a chance at seeing severe storms in this time frame. Darker red extends from the high plains all the way to the east coast, and that's where I think severe weather is likely. Lastly, the purple zone is where I expect the most intense and numerous severe weather events, possibly even tornado outbreaks. And of course, we also have to talk about snowfall. Temperatures will drop as these potent storm systems move through the Rockies. These will raise the chances of snow, especially higher in the elevation you go. The GFS model suggests widespread snow across the northern Rockies, especially from Montana and Idaho down into western Colorado. With all that said, that will conclude today's forecast. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you receive all my weather updates just like this one. 